Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Together cultivating your success. If you're watching this, you're supporting the movement, the movement to create a better future for all farmers, and in fact, all South Africans, through food security and job creation. Hi, I'm Wilson Binkosi. And I'm Roseanne McKenzie. Welcome to Niche Farmers. Let's make a difference together. In this episode of Niche Farmers, we meet Kali Skuman, Group CEO of Skuman Farms, and Success Mjuli, project manager of Zamugele and see how willpower, determination and solid partnerships are changing the future of South Africa's agriculture. We also learn more about the Skuman Broad-Based Livelihoods Program which empowers many people living in poverty with sustainable livelihoods to become economically active where they live, using what they have and with no limits to how far they can go. Today we've got yet another important episode, Wilson, and I can't wait to share it with our viewers. Most certainly, Roseanne. You know, what we're showing today fills me personally with pride and hope about the future of our country. I agree, because it's about so much more than just the agricultural industry, isn't it? Indeed it is. Because agriculture, at the end of the day, sets the tone for the change that we all want to see. You know, Roseanne, it's about solid partnerships. It's about mentorship. It's about the will to succeed. Mm, and where there's a will, there's a way. Before we get started, though, just a quick reminder, you can get all our episodes as well as rich content about our farmers and suppliers. Today's episode is one that you really should keep and share with your family and friends. Here's how. Niche Farmers is on every week. Same time, same place. But if a weekly dose of Niche Farmers is just not enough, or you maybe want to watch an episode again, even share the episode with friends and family, you can. SMS FARM to 32210 and we'll send you a return SMS in no time. Click on the link we're sending you to open the info wrap. Then simply complete the form and submit. Right guys, are you ready for yet another inspirational niche farmer story? Well then, this is the story of Zamugele. They aim to establish emerging dry bean producers as commercial farmers. The Zamugele project was started in 2017 by the Skuman Group. The project identifies and supports small white bean farmers by providing access to mentorship, seed, fertilizer and access to both local and international markets. Now, Zamugele currently supports 62 farmers across various provinces, such as the Free State, Pumalanga, Limpopo and the Northwest. Now, the farmers deliver their dry white beans to the bean plant in Delmas on a contract basis. Each farmer receives four visits from two mentors during the year and the mentors visit them at crucial stages during the production. They also advise on mechanization and share other farmers' success stories to inspire and teach each other. During the 2020 production year, 152 commercial and 20 new commercial farmers in five provinces planted 11,700 hectares of dry white beans for skuma. The beans are cleaned and sorted at the bean plant in Dalmas and then supplied to the food processing industry. That's an achievement, Roseanne, hey? It really is, and it does go to show that the importance of mentorship and strategic partnerships is just vital. Absolutely. Well, without any further ado, this is the Zamugele project. Uh, my husband was Tandola and He started training the Zamugele at 20, 2012. After that, he passed away. Then I work with my son. Then we work together from 2015 till 2021. Then Vianney passed away. Then I started working last year. Uh, Zamongele is a project under the Skuman Group, which uh, is aimed at assisting small-scale farmers with uh, production inputs for small white beans for the canning industry. This farm, I think when I got to the project, the, uh, the, the, the farmer was Vuyan Lolwane who passed on. 
And then her mother took over the project with me this year, and she was one of my best performers. She also received an award for the cleanest grain. She planted 60 hectares in average, with an average yield of 1.3 tons per hectare. So for me, this is a very special place because I had to start from scratch and teach her a lot of things, and she, she followed a lot of what I had to say, and then she was successful with her production. I farm multiple crops, um, from maize through to sunflowers, uh, dry beans and ground nuts. I think uh, the Schoolman Group, uh, through this project, um, is, is an important and very significant partner for a number of reasons. You know, one, um, this area was not a dry bean producing area. I tried them out uh, for the first time in 2016. And over the years, you know, I've picked up a certain level of expertise uh, in, the, in the production of, of, of dry beans. Second point is um, the, the credit facility um, that, that's made av available by the Schoolman Group uh, through the, the Zamukele project is absolutely invaluable. The, the third point with regard to partnership is the partnership with a schoolman group through the Zamukele project pulls in a number of other significant you know, uh, partners like your agrochemicals companies, like your mechanization uh, and equipment supply companies. Um, so from that perspective, I think um, one, one has to say without hesitation um, that the partnership has certainly been absolutely invaluable. Uh, for farmers participating, you know, uh, in the scheme as contract producers uh, for the Schoolman Group. I think uh, for Zamugere to become a success, the farmers need to start working together. Uh, they need to stop overextending themselves. They need to see this as a stepping stone for them to be successful commercial farmers and they must start treating their businesses as businesses, not just as a, uh, a way to make a quick buck. They must actually treat farming as a business and then they'll be successful. After the break. We meet Kali Skuman, Group CEO of Skuman Farms and Success Mdluli, Project Manager of Zamukele and learn how solid partnerships are changing the future of South Africa's agriculture. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Welcome back. It is now our absolute privilege to introduce two very special guests to you. That's very correct, Roseanne. It is none other than the legendary Wom Kali Skuman, Group CEO of Skuman Farms, and Success Mjuli, Project Manager of the impressive Zamugele Project. A very warm niche farmer's welcome, gentlemen. Thank you so much yeah, for having us. Nice to be here. As Wilson <laughs> mentioned, you are a legend, Wim Kali. Can we say Wim Kali? Is that okay? It will have its consequences. If you call me Wim, I will call you auntie. Okay. <laughs> so we normally ask this question at the end of our chats with our guests, but I, we'd like to start with it today. What is your advice or your message of support to young people who love the soil and who would like to get a start in agriculture? Well, first of all, if you've got the passion and you love the soil, that is the first prerequisite. Secondly, to have somebody that can guide you because you don't know enough. You haven't, you, you haven't discovered your own potential, mm. although you've got your heart is in the right place. So, so you need guidance and somebody that has been there and gone through the mill who can help you giving that first step in, in an agricultural career. I'm interested to know how your paths crossed. Mm -hmm. I started with Skuman Farms uh, as an intern at one of Skuman's farms in Springs. Um, I had the privilege to work with one of the directors, Jacques Ruas. I think I caught his attention that time. And I think he has everything to do with me ending up with Zamugele. And as they say, the rest is history. I love that your story is 
about someone seeing your potential and actually wanting to nurture that. And I wanted to get on to our next question to you, Kali, is that first of all, you, you like we mentioned earlier, a legend in the agriculture um, industry, but first and foremost, you see yourself as a mentor. Yes, you know, um, life is a learning uh, process. Mm -hmm. and, and at every bad decision that I took in my life, I was personally present, <laughs> <laughs> so it it, it it helps you to to uh, to to give some guidance to the next generation, whenever they need to take difficult decisions, yeah. just to come and check and say, listen, how do you feel about this, and to to be a soundboard uh, for them, and so they don't have to pay the school fees again, which <laughs> I have paid already. <laughs> it's very interesting you should say that because that is essentially the model behind the Zamugele project. The dream was created at the land summit in 2016 at Bella Bella, where such a lot of success stories have been told on a similar basis of what farmers are doing. And we realize we've got the opportunity to, to use emerging farmers, or let's call them new era farmers, uh, who love the land and have got the, the, the equipment to start with, uh, with uh, small scale bean production, um, which we actually uh, empower them in terms of market access, in terms of fertilizer, in terms of certified seed, and then also as far as the mentoring and technical advice is, is concerned. And this is, this is where success comes in. Zamugele is, uh, is a good initiative and it has brought hope and sustainability to so many farmers across the country. But um, when you look at places like the Northwest, the Lichtenberg area, uh, in between 2016 and 2018, they had severe drought. And Zamugele came in in 2018 and, and, and brought back hope Mm -hmm. uh, farmers were able to buy equipment, tractors, harvesters from the profits that they were making from Zamugele. In the Springbok area within Lechtenberg, it's a very small village. There were 537 jobs created last season. Those, those workers were assisting with harvesting and pulling and, and manual weed control on the, on, the, on the small white beans. So I think the small white bean and Zamugele has officially started to make a difference in people's lives. So 537 jobs created in one season in such a small community. That's really amazing stuff. But the Zamukele project is only one part of a much bigger enterprise. Another part is the Skuman Broad-Based Livelihoods Program, which empowers many people living in poverty with sustainable livelihoods to become economically active where they live, using what they have with no limits to how far they can go. Let's take a look. People very often ask, what is the Broad-Based Livelihoods Programme? It is about catalyzing individuals into economic activity. It's all about getting the hope and making the start. The whole process is one of building people into believing what the talents and the possibilities are that God has created them with. And you see that right throughout the facilitation team, the entire programme, and the way in which people take their journey from making that first discovery, there's just no boundary. When I was a small child, I saw my parents doing gardening. So I fell in love with that. Then I saw that there is life in, in growing your own food. You also save money and you don't go and buy, but you grow your own vegetables. I came here, I met with Marna and started the project and I was so much excited, started to train people in the villages. Before, uh, people don't, uh, didn't think that they can work together, uh, but uh, now uh, they are able to help one another and uh, they can plan together uh, to achieve more. We started planting here in 2016. It's just me and Mr. Kosa and my daughter only. And here, Mr. Kosa is not working, me, I'm not working, but we have a life because of these things. Our daughter is going to school, next year is going to university because of this cut and our chickens at home. We didn't sleep with an empty stomach. Our neighbors didn't sleep with an empty stomach because we have something. I, I started with nothing, yes, but now 
I have, I have, I, I have planted 500 spinaches, uh, 200 lettuce, I have 100 uh, 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 green pepper and cucumber. So, and I have chickens. Uh, it helped me a lot. It stays in a person. How that person wants to push his life, it depends on him whether he wants to stand up or he just wants the handouts. I do put food on the table because the cabbages that I, I sell, I buy milli meal and I can even buy electricity. And uh, I do have a worker here who also I can pay his salary. Uh, it's, it's better than sitting and doing nothing. I think in essence, making a difference bigger than the company you're running is something that is part of us. It's part of the family. It's been part of the pioneers of Skuman. And um, we were looking for a way to do that now in the current economic climate we have. And also just being a good employer is not making a big enough difference. There's so much a greater need in our areas, especially in the in the farm, farming areas and in the, in the countryside. So we wanted to initiate this to give people a chance to be businessmen in their own right, not depending on an employer. If you can unlock the potential for someone else and give them the key so that the key is no longer with me, but now the key is with you and they can take their life's journey into their own hand and determine what kind of success it could be. That for me is my conviction and, and why it's important to me. Knowing that the results they are achieving is from themselves, it's not from someone else. It's not a handout they're receiving, it's not help they're getting from someone else, it's mentorship for a while and guidance for a while, but it's, it's them achieving what they are seeing. Beautiful, amazing, true empowerment. Ah, this, this will never stop. Yeah, this will, will go along because I want my son's children to, to live on this farm and, uh, and make the best out of it. It's just that now I'm, I'm a little bit old, but if I was still young, I'll do wonders. Yeah. I, I wanted to stay there. Even if I go, I'll, I'll come in back in spirit and look after it. No one will ever touch it uh, because this is my livelihood. Mm. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Welcome back to the show that changes lives for the better. Well, Mkali, before the break, we looked at the Skuman Broad-Based Livelihoods Initiative, and I would like to find out in more detail what it entails. Okay, first of all, I think the credit should go to my son, Hendrik. That was his initiative and it was his drive, but I've been involved in it uh, right since the inception. Now, the concept is that if you look at certain parts in the rural areas, like in Sukukuni land, which is part of the old Leboa, mm. you would find unemployment of over 60%. And those people are hopeless. And you cannot build a dream unless you've got hope. And hope is a very scarce commodity in South Africa nowadays. So how can we create hope? And the, the easiest way to do that is to, to get the community together. And, and, and there we've got uh, so, um, a company that helps us that has got the personnel that goes into the rural areas and talk to the people and say, listen, they start with the traffic light concept and say there's a green and a yellow and a red. a red light. So the green would be green vegetables, the red would be red like tomatoes and the yellow would be yellow like carrots. And, and tell them that listen, every, what do you need? You've got a piece of land, so start to dig a, 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 a trench and you take all your old bones from your chicken or from your sheep or your T-bone or whatever you've got, <laughs> you throw it into that hole. You take the old can which you used your, your pilchards or your baked beans and tomato sauce, throw it in there because that will become the zinc 
and the iron which you need to feed the vegetables. And take an old newspaper, shred it up and throw it in there because that becomes your carbon. carbon. Uh, so then you've got your trench and, and you've got, everybody's got grey water because you do your washing or you've, you've got, a, you've got a, a shower or whatever and with that grey water you can, you can irrigate that piece of land and then they start to grow their first vegetables. And, and, and the moment that they start to take that first carrot or cabbage out of the land, that's where they become proud of themselves mm. and they discover that they, they've got meaning and there's purpose in their lives. So they've got food to eat and then it grows to where you, have, you produce surplus. And I've got surplus carrots and you've got surplus cabbage. Success, so we start to do business and it grows to the next level where it becomes like a small commercial business in mm. the different townships. And I think that's the concept. Good on your son. You know, you know what they say, an apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> so like father, like son. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> and so you should. <laughs> uh, how many households do you reach? So far, we've reached 63 different communities with 2,800 households. And if we look at the, the, the growth rate by 2025, we think we can be at 10,000 households. Gentlemen, it's been such an honor to have you in the studio. Thank you very, very much. And on that positive note, we've arrived at the part of the show that everyone wants to hear about, competition time. The third prize, valued at over 10,000 Rand, gives you a double bed with mattress protector and a set of pillows. Plus, Laafeld Seed Packs. That's treated seeds and fertilizer, enough to produce vegetables for a family of eight for an entire year. The second prize includes a queen-sized bed set, mattress protector and set of pillows. Plus, the Laafeld Seed Packs, all valued at over 15,000 Rand. And finally, the first prize. The lucky overall winner gets a king-size bed set, mattress protector, headboard and set of pillows. The Laafeld Seed Packs plus 50,000 Rand in cash. SMS FARM to 32210 to not only automatically enter for our competition, but also to get our weekly wrap articles with all of the episodes. Plus, you'll also find information about debt safe there. After all, we want financially healthy farmers. Debt does not discriminate whether you're a farmer or a lawyer, just starting up or well established. Debt follows you. And for many South Africans, it swallows you. You know, the biggest obstacle to escaping the death trap is often one's own embarrassment, even guilt. Well, the good news is, is that debt counselling is discreet, it's sensitive to your situation, and with Debt Safe by your side, you'll quickly be on the road back to financial freedom. Take control of your debt. Visit debtsafe.co.za today. That's debtsafe.co.za. Thanks again to our special guests, um, Kali Skuman and Success Mdluli, as well as all our featured farmers. Without farmers, there is no future. So let's support them with everything we have. Till next week, friends, goodbye. And please go like our Facebook page if you haven't already done so. Yes, let's build the movement together, the Niche Farmers Movement. Take care. Take my hand, stand tall on my shoulders, I'll shine. Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Together, cultivating your success.